Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, it is just about 10 at 10 here in Jersey, New Jersey. And uh, I'm kind of falling a little bit behind, to be honest with you. Um, I haven't really been feeling that well. Uh, I don't know if I got a little bug or what it is, man, but uh, I haven't really been feeling up to... Uh, um to even doing any videos really um i've been putting them off and these here i've had out for a while and just i keep passing them up and i just uh i don't feel up to doing it but um feeling a little bit better we're gonna get through it um i want to talk about uh these case side busters and um what prompt me to do this video on my case side busters is um, my good buddy uh, Georgia Adventurer. Um, he's a, a big case guy um, and he loves um, uh, case side busters. As a matter of fact, he carries one every single day. I carried one of these every single day for years. I'm talking years. Um, I thought I was, when I was getting into the, the, the hobby in the community, I thought I was, I was questioning myself about me being crazy because I love these things so much. And this was not by far anywhere close to what everybody else was into. They were into... Um, well, flippers were, were coming out then when I was coming up. Uh, I mean, flippers were all the rage, you know what I mean? Um, a good flipper with good closing and good action. That's what everybody was chasing. Me, on the other hand, I was buying them, yes. I'll, I'll admit to that. Yeah, I was into them. Yeah, they're pretty cool. But I always had my eye on these traditional knives, man. Not, not only these, but just traditional knives in general. Let's get into it. Uh, let's let's talk about some of these knives here. We got a lot to go through. We're not going to make this video too long, guys. Um, it, there's a lot to look at. I just want to, you know, you see one, you see them all. Just different color. Um, but, but, but we'll just break it down and talk a little bit about the case side buster um, and why, why, or I'll try to explain to you why I love that pattern so much. It's such a simplistic knife, man, but yet... But yet, uh, golly, man, it could do it could do all the work and task and everything you ask of it, uh, and then some. You know what I mean? <clears throat> anyway, let's start back here with the big boys. So you could get these in two different variants. Now you could get the K Sawbuster Juniors, uh, which are the smaller ones, and you can get the large. That's just what it's called. I just call it, you know. You type it in and you type in large um, case side busters and that's what you get. Um, and as far as I know, you can only get them in these two colors. The yellow uh, with the carbon steel and back here is the blue handled one with the uh, stainless steel. But this knife here, um, if you've ever experienced um handling a knife a saw buster this makes it uh a couple of times uh it, it, it's just how do i explain this one now uh if you think the saw buster junior is good okay uh you should get one of these uh bigger pieces in your hand it is just a hand filling uh just a joy and I'm talking about cutting. You want to cut with this, man? You need something to cut or you have to do real thin slicing. And you really got to get after it with that nice... Cut a tomato or something with this. Cut a um, a, a cucumber or um, just cut, cut up some vegetables or just test, test how clean and sharp this blade is i'm telling you you'll become a believer you'll become a case uh saw buster uh guy carry one for about a week use it 
and then come back and make your mind up whether you like sob busters or not. Anyway, this is the large um, uh, case sob buster, exactly, exactly the same as the smaller ones, but just on a bigger platform. And um, I just can't speak highly enough. I mean, uh, uh, Georgia, Georgia Adventure said it best, man. Um, he, he called it. Go back and watch his video, as a matter of fact. Um, please, I, I encourage everybody to go watch his videos. He's doing some fantastic stuff. And I'm getting off topic here. I'm sorry. But as a matter of fact, uh, real quick, he put out just the most wonderful gosh darn video uh yesterday it was so shall i say the word cute but i'll say it um him and his wife uh put out a video on um her name is linda and she did her edc um she was showing her edc which she carries in her uh purse or pocketbook whatever you want to call it um and it was just a really, really, really fun, just a, just a wonderful video. You could see by looking at him, he was so proud, man. He was so proud of her. And um, it was just a fantastic video. I highly encourage uh, you guys just to go look at the video. You will not be disappointed. It was fun. But anyway, back to this again. So we got the large side buster. And I'm telling you, there's not really much I'm going to say on this one. I'm just going to move along. It's just a wonderful, full purchase in your hand grip. If you need to do some bigger chores, then yes, you, you want to go for this one. But I would always, always keep a bigger side buster on hand. Um, just in case for those things that you need to do that just may be for a little bit bigger um uh, things that you need to get done. But this one's in, um, chrome vanadium. Another thing, I stopped collecting case knives for a while there. Um, I, 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 it, there was a, there was a big separation because I've got a very large collection of case knives and I stopped for a while because I got so, how do I say it? I got so ignorant to the fact that I did not want to buy any more stainless steel knives that Case were offering because Case does not offer nearly as many knives as I hoped that they would be do in um, their carbon uh, steel. Now, I don't know why that is. I just, I, it should at least be half and half, but that's not the case. Uh, most of their knives in, in today's gener today's world are uh, stainless steel blades. That's what you're going to get from Case. Uh, every you know, every once in a while, you get one of these. They throw a, a carbon blade in, but for the most part, they all their blades are um, stainless. Excuse me. All right, so that's the large saw buster, guys. Very, very, um, just a fantastic knife. Here's the other one. I'm going to show you this one real quick. We got to move along here. This one's in the stainless. Same same exact deal. Um, just if you want a stainless blade, there you go. You got it. So, um, nevertheless, another uh, fantastic blade. Uh, so what do I say about it? Just just great. Great in the hand. Um, and very, let me, let me add. Let me add to this. They are extremely uh, affordable. You know what I mean? These, even the bigger ones, might be... This one might be a little more than this one. I think this is like 20 bucks. You could find these on eBay right now for like, I, I mean, or Amazon. I think they're $20. I Don't quote, it's been a long time. Guys, these, these knives, all that you're looking at here, for the most part, have been in my collection for a while. All right, we're, we're just going to run through them. This is the orange. Now, you could get these in two variants, too. You could get the... Um, you could get the bone covers, which I prefer, um, and some guys don't like that. They like the more filling in hand with these um, uh, Delrin uh, covers. You know what I mean? It's more, it's much more filling in your hand. 
um, it's a, it's got a lot more girth, you know, uh, when you go with these Dalring covers. Um, you're going to find in most cases, you're going to get that stainless steel. You know what I mean? These are stainless. Well, obviously, you'll see the ones that aren't, but I'm just saying. Um, but a lot of people um, like the stainless because it's less maintenance. They don't rust. They this, they that, that. I mean, it's just as easy for me to take care of my carbon blades than, than these. I mean, I don't know what the big deal is. You wipe it off. You clean it. You, after you use it, you give it a, a good clean. And you put a very, very light coat of oil on it. And you're done. You're done. Just, a, I mean, a, 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 a very, very light coat of oil. And that, and you put a, do whatever you need to do with it. But that's the orange... Um, um, Delrin one, no special, no big deal here, but just, just a wonderful knife. You know what I mean? It's a wonderful knife. Um, I hate to keep mentioning the guy's name cause I'm probably beating him into the ground, but Georgia Adventures got one of these green ones. I mean, these orange ones in, um, the orange bone. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful and it's got the bullet shield on it. Now that's new to me because I've never seen an inlay with the, um, it's got a, a, a barrel, a bullet shield. And when I tell you that bullet shield is just, I mean, I saw that and I thought it was the cat's meow, man. I was like, damn, man, I never seen that before. But you know what? The older case knives, the older case knives are constructed and so much better than the new ones. It's like night and day. There's no comparison. As far as I'm concerned, with the older knives, the older case knives, um, and the knives that they put out today, there is no comparison at all whatsoever. Construction-wise, fit and finish, um, just the way they're built, with everything, everything is just much, much better um, with the older case knives. And, and that reflects on what you pay for them. You go look for an older case knife and see what you're going to pay for one of them in good condition. You're going to pay. They're a lot of money. They're a lot of money. Here's another one. Same exact model as that guy here is in the smaller, um, the smaller, uh, variant. Very, very cool piece. Um, I love this knife. Um, I've carried, I've had this one specifically 10 years easy, 10 years plus easy. And this thing will keep coming back for more. You can't beat these up. You can't hurt them. These Delrin scales, you can throw these around. You'll never, you cannot hurt the, this knife. You can't hurt it. Um, they're just built so fantastic. They feel so awesome in hand. You do any kind of cutting chores. Um, just, I mean, if you got to just get in it, like this, you know, you're doing some peeling, some cutting. Pull cuts, awesome for pull cuts. It just goes right through it. I mean, you just get a grip in your hand. You do a pull cut. Boom, boom, boom. Great knife, man. Takes, and you could see. Uh, they take fantastic, uh, they get, that's why I like these carbon blades. Another guy I want to mention, give a shout out to, is that Richter Knives, man. Richter is the man, boy. You should see his knives. As a matter of fact, he just dropped a video today. Um, he, he showed his entire, um, uh, GEC collection. And man, I'll tell you what, he's got some, he's got some beautiful pieces, man. Really, really nice collection he's got there. And um, I asked him, I said, the patina you have on them knives are so uniform. You know what I mean? The patina that develops on mine, <clears throat> you can see the patina I get on mine after use. And I wipe them down. I mean, I take care of them. But the patina he gets, look at his knives in the patina. It is so even in gray all the way across. Even Stevens, man. Even all the way. Oh, I mean, it looks nice, nice, nice. All the way. Like, just, oh, my God. It's it's impressive because I'm going to tell you why it's impressive. Because I've dipped many, 
of carbon blades in um, <clears throat> hot vinegar or whatever you want, however your choice was. And I pulled it out and I still didn't get even uh, results like that. <clears throat> uh, with the, um, the, uh, carbon blades. I still didn't get results, um, on the patina like that. Anyway, we're getting long here on this video, guys. But I'm not going to open them all. This is another stainless, uh, this is a stainless variant. Just black, you know what I mean? Just a black one. Good user. It's got the, uh, this one does have the etch on it. See, it says stainless right there, and then it's got the etch, Sodbuster Jr. right there, uh, guy in the uh, field, but anyway, uh, so that's that one there, really nice piece, I mean, if you're, if you're down with these synthetic fuller grips in the hand, these are where you're going to want to be, because I'm just going to tell you, these guys here that are bone, they're very thin. I'm just saying, I'm, if you are not experienced with these, you may not like these because they're very thin. I'll show you that right now, how thin they are. And some people don't like this, hold on, in hand. I happen to love it. I mean, I just, there's nothing like it, man. I like that thin, that thin grip in hand. I don't have no problem with that at all. This one is... Um, Another is this? No, that's 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 a that's that's a carbon blade. That's a carbon blade. There you go. Very very pretty. They do their bone very very pretty on these uh, pieces, man. Um, I, I just look at that, man. Look at that. I think that's a pocket more, and that's 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 what that is. You can see, it's just beautiful, man. These things, man, get me going. I tell you what. Nothing like a side buster, man. There ain't nothing like it. And like I said, man, I saw, you know, Georgia Adventures started talking about these damn side busters, and I had to get them out. So here you go. Here's another one. This is beautiful, man. This is a, a barn, a barn or something. I don't know, barn wood. But you got the double X there. Uh, the fit and finish on these, this one is half decent, but some of them are really bad. Some of them are uh, wide open hard, uh, but you get what you get. You know, they're not real expensive. They're going to come in, these bone ones here that you're looking at, they're going to come in around 65 bucks. I do believe you're going to spend about 65 bucks on the average for these guys. But nevertheless, I love this bone too. You know, it's just really, it's classy. It's, it's, you know, it's beautiful, beautiful. That's that one. Uh, what else here? This one might be the prettiest one. They call this one raspberry. I think it's raspberry. My goodness gracious. I've never seen jigging on a knife quite like this one. I'm, I'm telling the truth, man. I've got some knives with bone on it that'll blow your panties off. I don't ever think I've seen bone on a knife quite like this. Look at look at this bone. Um, I love this shield. That's the foxhound or the um, uh, what's that? Uh, something tooth. It look reminds you of a, a, a tooth. Uh, they, I forget the name, what they call that shield, but just, I just, I could stare at this, 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 uh, bone, this raspberry bone all day, all day. I have no, I would have no problem just sitting here, just turning it back and forth with a little music on, right? And just checking out this bone. Golly, man, that guy darn, that guy darn, Man, I get myself too. I get myself too amped up, guys, fellas. Oh boy, this is a classic uh, in everybody's collection. Everybody has one of these. This is the uh, <clears throat> good old chestnut bone, man. Um, this, what do you say about this? You know what I mean? Everybody in creation's got one of these chestnut bone with the covers and then carbon steel uh, on the blade. And it's just makes for one heck of a, just a wonderful, wonderful carry. Makes you a happy person to have one of these in your pocket. I'm going to tell you that now. 
Um, I've had this one. This one here is probably one of the first ones I bought. I've, I've, I've probably got this one going on. But close, I would guess a strong 20. A strong 20 years I've had this uh, kicking around in my collection. And uh, like I said, the uh, chestnut bone is one of my favorite bones that case does. The chestnut. And um, it's a dead giveaway when you get chestnut bone because um, it's always uh, chrome vanadium steel you get with the chestnut bone. You get uh, chrome vanadium with the chestnut bone and uh, amber, amber bone. Both of them are dead uh, chrome vanadium knives. Chestnut bone and uh, what was the other one I mentioned? Amber, amber. This one here, this is a recent purchase. Not a recent purchase, but pretty pretty new. I sold his color, and um, it's called King Folk. King Folk Jade. That's that's what I, I think it's called, if I'm not mistaken. But I saw this jigging pattern, and I saw the color of this uh, green bone, and it was it, it was just done. You know what I mean? That's it. That's as quick as I made my mind up. I didn't need to see no more. Um, I immediately, it was one of those immediate purchases. Um, I just saw it and I was like, I'm there. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm like, am I really going to argue the fact with me ordering this? No. So just let me get it done. Let me order it. And that's it. You know what I mean? 65 bucks probably, I think this is. They're all coming in at like 65 bucks. But look at that bone, man. Look how, look at the, the look at the deep them cuts are and that but look how they do that though right now you could say i do say a lot of things about case on their fit and finish and everything like that put aside their fit and finish and their quality issues i'm telling you case does the best one of the best um uh covers in the game uh their their bone they do it well they do it well they could make a look they could make a knife look beautiful but as soon as you open it up or look on the uh, spine of it, ugh, then you get a little, then you get a little scared. <laughs> and the centering. Don't look at the centering because it might be a little off on you. Last one here, guys. This is a very deep, rich blue. Look at that blue, though. Look how deep the coloring is in it, you know? You got this very, very deep blue. Uh, they're calling this saw cut. Saw cut uh, bone. Very, very beautiful piece, nevertheless. Um, and there you have it. Just a wonderful piece uh, to pull out of your pocket and, and, and do some cotton with. It's just, a, it's just an absolute pleasure. Absolute pleasure. And I, and, and I love these uh, knives so, so much. That's why, man. I mean, they're gorgeous. Some people wouldn't look twice. These guys, these newer uh, kids out there today, they're a younger generation. They wouldn't think twice. They wouldn't look at this knife even a half a turn, right? They all want that newest, the newest bearings, the newest flippers, you know, what's in the, you know, the, the ceramic bearings and all that stuff. And, you know, how, uh, how it drops into the, how it drops, man. And that, that action. They want that action. To me, this is action right here. That's my action. That's what I call action. And I'm, I've got plenty of satisfaction from that. Plenty of satisfaction from that right there. All right, guys. Uh, I just wanted to get that out there because they've been on my table for a while. I got stuff coming in, stuff that I want to show you guys. I ordered some stuff. I ordered some like crazy stuff, like not crazy stuff. Just like I ordered some um, handkerchiefs, custom handkerchiefs uh, with my logo on them. I want to show you that. Um, just a few pieces, just a few uh, knickknack pieces I think I ordered. But anyway, uh, you guys have a fantastic uh, Monday. I know it's hard getting back on the work week, right? Mondays are always a bummer. But anyway, you guys be good, be well. And above all, please be safe out there. It's a crazy, crazy time. Crazy people out there, man. All right, guys. Be well.
uh, drop me a comment, please. And if all possible, I'm going to keep mentioning it, even for the whole entire community, everybody included. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. It helps with that algorithm. I know I hit it faithfully on all the videos, so I appreciate it. Thumbs up and rock and roll, right? All right, guys. Be well.